I've said to people um, when describing the, the show uh, at the gallery that it's a one-man group show because I have these four distinct bodies of work. There are some relationships between the way that I work that, can, that somehow seems to cobble it all together. It's okay to make different bodies of work. You know, I, we, there's, I think we, we've, most all of us have learned that there's a lot of pressure to do one single coherent body of work and stay on that because it, that's hard enough. The paintings with the ellipses um, are, um, are encaustic on panel with um, oil paint and uh, graphite. And then the works on paper are um, acrylic and graphite. I can tell you I'm almost nervous about the question of why all those ellipses and circles. It's such an easy mark to make, and it's, it's repetitive and can be hypnotic to make, and it's a stand-in for all kinds of things, for, you know, for cellular forms or for galaxies, and you just, it's out there in nature and in our world. In these paintings, um, it's a design element, and for me, they're, um, they're kind of clusters or communities of these forms that are sort of, in, uh, I feel like they're um, inhabiting a world that's larger than the picture plane. So in a lot of cases, they seem to be kind of zipping past, you know, the viewfinder, if you will, of the painting. I do have a love affair with process. I mean, I love the paint, I love the way the paint goes on or the wax goes on. And it's, you'll see some surfaces that have been scratched back into because the wax kind of invites that sort of interaction with it. So the works on paper, the drawings are, you know, inspired by the, the natural world, the botanic world, but um, uh, it pains not to have them be um, uh, too literal. In fact, it's the real struggle is to try to come up with ways of, of making marks and creating a kind of uh, visual composition that is a little akimbo, a little off kilter. Um, they're kind of compositionally odd and yet they still work. There is a place where it's just, uh, you try to, to find um, the inner voice and let your, you know, zillion hours of, uh, of art making experience manifest themselves so it really is kind of almost automatic writing and there's editing involved some of the drawings you'll see uh, there's parts of it that have been um, that have been overpainted with uh, just with white paint and it um, I like the fact that I can push marks back into the background and I also kind of like the honesty of pushing them in the background with white paint which merges pretty seamlessly with the uh, with the white paper. Well, I've been interested in photography since undergraduate school. I always made pictures that were kind of deliberately abstract. I like to photograph the spaces between things, not the thing itself. So it's, it's the impact of stuff coming in from the edges that I think one finds in the photographs and one can see in the paintings, particularly the, the paintings with the ellipses. So with the Capital University piece, what I did was I got students to come and help me and um, responded in some ways specific to the site. Uh, you know, there are, it's just a large flat piece of ground. The experience of moving around um, around a piece of, I guess it's sculpture, installation, I'm not sure what the right term is, it's this, it's this fence thing. It's funny how those pieces to me, just like the paintings, are joyful. I like work that um, provides a kind of a uh, a lens or a mirror to what makes being a human being a joyful, pleasant, positive thing. That's just the kind of guy I am. I'm really happy with the notion that people would find my work beautiful. I don't have, I know it's um, not always fashionable, but um, makes me, well, makes me proud.